Commonwealth Games began a touching tribute to the Queen's passion and commitment to the group of nations, Prince of Wales to represent Her Majesty at the event. Senior Isles appear in place of the Queen, 96, at the opening of 2022 Birmingham Commonwealth Games. Queen backed out of public appearance after Miss Ingressant's string of events with lingering mobility issues. Her Majesty did launch Baton Relay in October, where she placed a secret message inside to be read tonight. The Commonwealth Games kicked off with a powerful tribute to the Queen's 70 years of passion and commitment towards the participating nations as her son Prince Charles opened at the ceremony in her place as the monarch remains in Balmoral on her summer break. Prince Charles and Camilla appeared at the official start of the 2022 Games where Athezaniora Elise represented Her Majesty, who was patron of the Commonwealth Games Federation and head of the Commonwealth. The Senior Royal Center at the arena from Charles Favor Aston Martin at the same time as 72 othered, white or blue cars with links to the Birmingham car industry, which formed a union flag in the center of Alexander Stadium. The 96-year-old, who has spent the last week at her Scottish residence, would have had Totreville down to Birmingham for the Highland Stomach Cathams a situation like like considered to tax and for her at present. The decision to miss out this year will likely strike a personnel blow tough long reigning monarch, who has always shelled Commonwealth Games Classito her heart and was present till last time they were held in the UK in 2014. Her Majesty did launch Commonwealth Games Baton Relay at Buckingham Palace in October, placing a secret message inside it that won't be re out until the games are underway. While the Queen has missed only a handful of Commonwealth events over the last seven decades, she is being beset with mobility issues and doable to appear at some events in any official capacity in recent months. However, she had and her Platinum Jubilee celebrations at the beginning of June and as recently as these week was still performing her Royal Jutias Dish Patethas Weltering Heat Wave at that group the country. Excitement surrounding the Queen's secret message, hidden inside a baton used in the traditional baton relay, Built for out Thursday evening. The official Commonwealth Sports Twitter account tweeted, The wait is almost over. With an Ellie Jetto here, Her Majesty's Commonwealth Games message at tonight's opening ceremony following its 90,000 mile journey around Commonwealth. Don't miss it. The Duke and Duchess of Cornwall will append the Games in her place for the third time in Birmingham Ladder Thysavening, aided by the Earl and Countess of Wessex. Prince Edward is vice patron of the CGF. Prince Charles previously opened at the Games in Her Majesty's Place when they were held in India in 2010 and Australia in 2018. Her Majesty previously opened at the Games in Canada, 1978 and 1994, Scotland, 1986 and 2014, England, 2002, and Australia, 2006. Her late husband Prince Philip was a firm believer in the Games and opened them in Australia, 1962 and 1982, Jamaica, 1966, New Zealand, 1974, Scotland, 1970, and Wales, 1958. The Alexander Stadium ceremony is expected to be watched by around 1 billion people worldwide. This year's seven tier set to see a bumper turn up for members of the royal family as they are being held on home ground for the first time since 2014 and a decade on from London Olympics. 30,000 fans packed into the Alexander Stadium in Birmingham on Thursday to catch a glimpse of the royal sand watch the opening ceremony get underway. Headline by the iconic Duran Duran, the ceremony will also see Tony Iommi of Black Sabbath take to the stage, alongside a local racing stars Indigo Marshall and Gambimi. More than 700 people from 15 musical groups from across West Midlands will be performing tonight and the national anthem will be sung by Birmingham Conservatory graduate Samantha Oxborough. The London Olympics opening ceremony was well received and highly praised around the world, but the theatre director Rick Balkanwa created Birmingham show believes he has created an event just as entertaining. I don't feel in the shadow of the Olympics at all. I feel like we have a compare band massively interning, moving, challenging show to share with world, he said. The Olympics weighs extraordinary for this country, but where few see to be overwhelmed be that. We take that as inspiration. It comes as a heartwarming video celebrating Thebeus of Birmingham was really said today as excitement builds for the opening Kermani of the Commonwealth Games tonight after outgoing Prime Minister Boris Johnson insisted they airworth £778 million taxpayer investment 
even as the country faces a cost of living crisis and soaring inflation. The two menu tech club features a host of icons from the West Midland City, including comedian Lenny Henry, actress Julie Walters, and Good Morning Britain's Alison Hammond, as they describe Brum as the beating heart of England. The fictional Thomas Shelby from Peaky Blinders, played by actor Killian Murphy, also makes an appearance to declare, This is our city, before the video ends with him saying, We'll raise other roof, in a clip to confront hit TV series. The ceremony is bank masterminded by Stephen Knight the creator of Birmingham-based Peaky Blind.